It may come across as a noble creature, but encountering a wolf can be fatal. The wolf is a wild carnivorous mammal of the dog family with 40 different subspecies. The best known and most researched species is the grey wolf, also known as the timber wolf or Canis lupus. It has powerful jaws with sharp teeth and a bite that has enough force to crush bones. As the largest members of the Canidae family, grey wolves have strong bodies capable of great endurance. They often live and hunt in wolf packs and are typically the apex predators of the environments they inhabit, with only tigers and humans as possible threats. Number 6. Wolves of Turku in 1880 and 1881, this trio of man-eating wolves terrorized the town of Turku, Finland, to the point where the national government became involved by calling in help from the army and from Russian and Lithuanian hunters. The relentless attacks resulted in the death of 22 children. The town's inhabitants lived in a constant state of fear until the wolves were killed. On January 12, 1882, an old female wolf was shot and 12 days later, an adult male was poisoned, which effectively put an end to the attacks. One of the dead beasts was sent to the Rihaimaki Hunting Museum and another to St. Olaf's School, where they're still on display today. Wolves are found in the wilderness and remote areas of North America, Europe, and Asia. France has the highest amount of recorded wolf attacks. There's been almost 7,600 documented fatal attacks between 1200 and 1920. Nowadays, wolf attacks occur most often in India and its neighboring countries, with more than 200 attacks recorded in 50 years up to 2002. Wolves are social and highly territorial animals. The most famous means of communication is the howl. Aside from striking fear in the hearts of people who hear it, a wolf's howl has the purpose of assembling the pack, passing an alarm, locating its members in unfamiliar territory, or communicating across large distances. In optimum conditions, its howl can be heard for 50 square miles. Number 5. Wolves of Hazirabha this pack of five wolves claimed 13 children aged 4 to 10 in the area surrounding the Indian town of Hazaraba. The vicious attacks took place between February and August 1981 over a relatively small area of 2.7 square miles. The wolves were attracted by the town's rubbish dump, where livestock carcasses and bodies from the local morgue were often buried. One of the first attacks happened on February 15, 1981, after entering a yard bordered by brushwood. A wolf attacked a young boy. Fortunately, his cries alerted other people in the neighborhood who beat the wolf to death with wooden poles. In the months that followed, the wolf pack killed 13 children and mauled 13 others. Over the course of the year, all of the wolves were eventually hunted down. Throughout history, the grey wolf has been seen as a threat to both humans and livestock, but also as a noble creature with numerous symbols and legends attached to its name. Wolf attacks, while not frequent, occur throughout the year peaking from June to August as the number of people entering forested areas increases due to livestock graving and the picking of various crops. Historically, the main victims of wolf attacks are young children. Unless driven away, an attacking wolf will repeatedly bite its victim on the head and face. Once it has killed its victim, the wolf will drag the carcass off in order to feast. The true killing power of wolves, however, lies in their numbers. A wolf pack will frequently tackle prey much larger than its individual members. Another fatal threat from wolves is rabies. A bite from a rabid wolf has been determined to be almost 15 times more dangerous than those from a rabid dog. Number 4. Patricia Wyman 
Patricia Wyman was a wildlife biologist who shortly after obtaining her degree got a job as a wolf caretaker at the Halliburton Forest and Wildlife Reserve in Ontario, Canada. Tragically, just three days after being hired, Patricia was killed by four wolves. Several employees from the wolf center found her body in the wolf enclosure with multiple bite wounds and flesh missing from her extremities. The Ontario Provincial Police sent three officers on site. When they entered the enclosure to retrieve the body, one of the beasts growled at the officers as the rest began to circle them. Firing warning shots drove the wolves away. After calling for three additional officers, they managed to retrieve Patricia's body. At the request of the coroner, the wolves were killed and examined for rabies. The results came back negative. One theory is that Patricia triggered the attack after accidentally stepping on one of the many branches in the enclosure. If you're walking in an area known for wolf activity and you see one, try to walk away slowly without it seeing you. It's important to remember that wolves live and hunt in packs, so where there's one wolf, several more may be close by. If it does spot you, back away slowly and avoid eye contact, as wolves will most likely see this as a challenge. Whatever you do, don't run or turn your back to the wolf as this is considered to be prey behavior, giving it an opportunity to strike. Instead, try making yourself bigger and display aggressive behavior by jumping, shouting, and throwing whatever is close to hand. If you're already being attacked, use whatever weapons you have to defend yourself. If you don't have one, it's recommended that you curl on the ground with your arms protecting your face and neck, which are the wolf's usual targets. You should also try your best to fight back by striking the wolf's face and nose as these are highly sensitive areas that can stun them. If you survive, go to a hospital immediately to get your wounds treated and to test for rabies. Number 3. Wolf of Soussons over the course of just two days in 1765, this wolf attacked 18 people. Four died due to the severity of their injuries. The attacks occurred northeast of Paris in the commune of Soussons. A pregnant woman and her unborn child were the first victims of the beast that came to be known as the Wolf of Soussons. For the next couple of days, it wreaked havoc in the commune, attacking a farmer on horseback and tearing off half of his face. In Bazoche, the wolf nearly decapitated a woman and severely wounded a girl who fled to the village, screaming for help. Four villagers tried ambushing the wolf, but they proved no match for it and soon found themselves fighting for their lives. More people arrived and it was eventually chased away. Former local militia Antoine Severel managed to track the wolf to a small lane. When the beast sprung at him, Severel used the pitchfork brought with him to pin its head on the ground for almost 15 minutes until a villager came and killed it for his bravery. Severel received a reward from Louis XV of France. Number 2. Wolf of Gisinge Between December 1820 and March 1821, a man-eating wolf attacked 31 people in Gisinge, near central Sweden. In just three months, the wolf claimed 12 lives and all of the victims, except for a 19-year-old woman, were children aged between 3 and 15. Even those that were injured in the attacks were mainly children. According to local sources, the wolf had been captured as a pup in 1817 and escaped captivity several years later. This was a possible explanation for its lack of timidity around humans, which could also have caused it to attack more frequently. Number 1. Beast of Gévaudan the Beast of Gévaudan is the historical name given to one or a pack of man-eating wolves that wreaked havoc in the former province of Gévaudan in the Majaride Mountains in south-central France between 1764 and 1767. The attacks took place in an area measuring 56 by 50 miles. 14-year-old Jean Boulet was the first official victim of a series of killings that took place in a relatively short time frame. It was said that the beast would prey on women, children, and lone men who were tending their livestock in the forests of Gévaudan. 
Various reports claim that the beast only targeted the face and neck of its victims, many found with their throats torn out. A 1987 study concluded that around 210 attacks had taken place, with 113 deaths and 49 injuries. Contemporary eyewitnesses described the beast as having a massive dog-like head with a large mouth and formidable teeth. Its fur was red and its back streaked with black. It also had a wide chest and a long tail and overall resembled an exceptionally large grey wolf. The Kingdom of France as well as several soldiers, noblemen, civilians and royal huntsmen used considerable resources to hunt the beast of Gévaudan, with several large grey wolves killed in the process. One of them had several scars on his body and was identified by several survivors as the culprit. Nicknamed Le Loup de Chaise, it weighed 130 pounds and measured 5 foot 7 in length. The wolf was stuffed and sent to the Versailles Palace. The hunter responsible for the kill was hailed as a hero and received titles and awards. Nevertheless, the fatal attacks continued. A local hunter named Jean Chastel reportedly put an end to the terror by killing a massive wolf with a silver bullet he'd made himself. He opened up the animal's stomach, which contained human remains. Hey guys, it's Angelo Cruz of this channel. I wanted to let you all know I've set up a Patreon account where I'll be offering very exciting and very exclusive bonus footage available only to people on Patreon. There, your voice will be heard regarding things you want to see and which direction I take my channel. Click on the end screen here to find out more or on the link in the description below. Thanks guys and I hope to see you on Patreon soon.